the city that became just a daydream. In 2020, music superstar Akon announced an audacious plan to build a futuristic Pan-African city, Akon City, in his home country of Senegal, a utopian smart city running on renewable energy built on the foundations of cryptocurrency and promising to be the new beacon of progress for Africa. But four years later, uh, where is Akon City? Is Akon City a real project or is it just a fantasy? Some say it's a scam. Others claim the delay is due to deeper government issues or hidden agendas. Today, we're diving into the rise and stall of Akon City. What went wrong and why construction has yet to begin. To understand what happened to Akon City, we need to start with the vision itself. We're building a real-life Wakanda in Senegal. This will be a place for the African diaspora to come home, a hub for innovation, technology and culture. In 2020, Akon promised to create a $6 billion ultra-modern city with futuristic architecture, hotels, hospitals and even an artificial intelligence data center. The city would run on a coin, his own cryptocurrency, and be built with sustainable energy solutions. Akon City is expected to be completed by 2030, with the first phase of construction set to start in 2021. However, as of today, there are no visible signs of progress. The Delays and Broken Promises By 2021, it became evident that something was wrong. There was no sign of construction equipment, no groundbreaking ceremonies, just an empty expanse of land. Akon City, it seemed, was already delayed. Local officials, we were excited about Akon City, but to this day we haven't seen any significant progress. It's becoming hard to believe in the project. Reports started to emerge that Akon had missed critical deadlines, and the government of Senegal grew more anxious about whether Akon City would ever materialize. But despite the delays, Akon remained optimistic in his public statements. The government of Senegal initially welcomed the project with open arms. President Macky Sall even allocated 2,000 acres of land near the capital Dakar for Akon City. The project was seen as a symbol of hope for economic growth, job creation and a new international identity for Senegal. However, as deadlines were missed and progress stagnated, some members of the public and government began questioning Akon's true intentions. Was this really a well-thought-out project or just a way to get good publicity? Many people feel duped. There's a growing sense that Akon has been selling a dream, but there's no real plan behind it. The government has faced criticism for allowing this to happen, and some suspect they didn't do enough due diligence before endorsing Akon City. Interestingly, Akon himself has become more tight-lipped about the project in recent years. His once frequent updates on Akon City have become rare. When questioned about the delays, Akon offers vague explanations, often pointing to issues with financing and planning. Akon, we're still moving forward with the project, but uh, these things take time, and with the pandemic, it's been challenging to coordinate the international efforts. However, critics argue that Akon's responses seem more like an attempt to dodge accountability, leaving many to wonder if the project will ever happen. And then there's the growing theory that Akon City may have been a scam from the start. Some have accused Akon of using the project to raise funds and attract investment under false pretenses. A famous YouTuber said in one of his videos, Look, all I'm saying is where's the money? Akon said this was a $6 billion project and yet not a single building has been constructed. If this doesn't scream scam, I don't know what does. Another YouTuber also said, People want to believe in Akon, but the reality is we have no clear evidence of where the funding is coming from. And he's not answering the tough questions. Some conspiracy theories even suggest that Akon City was never intended to be built, and that Akon used the project to funnel money from unknown investors. Others believe it was just a publicity stunt gone wrong. But is Akon really a scam artist, or is the project just a victim of global circumstances? The pandemic certainly threw a wrench into the construction timeline, the global economic slowdown, and the difficulty of securing large-scale investments may have also played a role. Financial analysts also spoke about the issue. Media, financial analyst in office explaining charts, large construction site in developing country. 
Large infrastructure projects, especially in developing regions, face significant hurdles. While Acon City might sound like a dream, the truth is, projects of this scale often take years, if not decades, to get off the ground. Securing investment, aligning with local regulations, and navigating international logistics are all major obstacles. So what's next for Acon City? Is it a failed dream, a scam, or just a project stuck in the mud? Acon insists that the city will be built, but without any real progress, it's becoming harder to believe. I believe in Acon City. It's not just about building a city. It's about empowering Africa. It's going to take time, but we will get there. But for now, Acon City remains a vision on paper, and whether it will ever become a reality is still a question that remains unanswered. What do you think? Is Acon City a well-intentioned project delayed by the world's problems, or is it something more sinister? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into the world's most fascinating stories. Thanks for watching.